Now, I look on these dispensary websites and look at vast array of names of strains and stuff, and I have no idea. I can't, I don't know what's what. I don't know who to trust or how to determine what the characteristics are. And again, I, my experience is that everybody's response to these things is so idiosyncratic that I wonder how you can ever list what the attributes are, what the effects are, since your response to it's going to be different from mine and going to be different from the guy in the next room. That's so, a great that's that that's a great observation and yeah, you're right. So those are parameters you're working with. So how do we how do you differentiate yours and how do you get people to pay attention to it? And how do you authenticate it? That's another thing. How the hell do I know when I'm down you know, if I go I was I was once in a a pot store in Vancouver, Washington. It blew my mind. This was like eight, ten years ago, I think. And I was just amazed at how huge it was. And there were rows and rows and rows and rows of little jars of strains. And I bought a jar of White Widow, you know, which I remembered from getting my mind blown at a festival in Florida some years earlier. And I, I brought it home and I smoked it. It didn't do nearly the thing that the previous exposure to White Widow had done. Right, right. Uh, so I mean, what I'm saying is, how 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 can anybody know what to make of this immense variety it, and the it, bullshit it, that surrounds? To it? me, it doesn't matter. You know, first and foremost, trying to avoid anybody b trying to sell something and claim it's hagalicious that it isn't. But that said, if it's not hagalicious, it's not hagalicious. I, you know, I, I don't have enough time to even worry about that. It's a bunch of crap and whatever. The truth will be revealed or, or it won't. But here's a good story for you. And I didn't realize how well-received hagalicious was down in L.A. And I was going down there and doing sessions and... Uh, I was recording a couple of uh, vanity projects and trading a lot of herb for recording time and engineers and stuff. It was with this band called Kraken, really great band at the time. So we're in there in the booth and we're listening to the tracks. And a guy comes in and he says, you never guess what I've got. And we're going, what? And he says, I've got a bag of hagweed. I don't know this guy. I've never heard, you know. So, he, and, uh, but I go, you mean from Terry Haggerty? And he says, yeah. Says, well, let's see it. So he breaks it out and he rolls up a joint and, and it's just cruddy indica from Humboldt, you know. And, and he didn't know he was talking to Terry Haggerty. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I said, "Well, my name's Terry Haggerty." And he, he looks at me and looks, and he says, "Yeah, no, no, you just—he's playing on the tracks, man." And the, the guy would just turned totally red. And I said, "It's good, but you want to smoke a a joint of Haggerty?" <laughs> <laughs> but that really showed me that it's just like you know, you got to really. Uh, there's no way of protecting yourself from that stuff. You know, it's just, there's there's a lot of word of mouth and there's a lot of, you had to be there. And if you weren't, you weren't. 